wasting water to make a tiny white ball feel special against the green green grass. Driving with an open container. Also, f off with this magical clean beer cart all sparkly in the sun. If the Karma Beer's grime isn't at the level where you protectively wipe the beer glass with the clean part of your shirt before you sip, it isn't a true golf experience. Also, also, due to horny old men existing, most on-course beer carts are driven by young women. What sort of new member are they wanting to attract here? Twelve-year-olds that think this font is epic and can appreciate the haphazard wonk of a sign slapped on as an afterthought? Also, that apostrophe is in the wrong place unless this is an entire day at the golf course for a single new member. Having a dark gray golf glove. Someone invented a golf bag that expertly erects a perfectly poured glass of beer without a drop being spilled and somehow golf is what we're focusing on in this commercial? I have important questions. Does this device only work in golf bags or can it be added to any portable container? My buddy just had a kid. How great of a friend would I be if I added one of these to the f***ing stroller? Also, just what the f***? is going on here. There are way too many players in this group and doing a beer dance is going to slow down the pace of play for everyone behind them. Also, also, they're using the Caddyshack music and that sullies the good name of the Caddyshack music. Who gets mad about this insane achievement? How do you not celebrate an incredibly unique hole-in-one with, at the very least, surprise laughter and a request for a selfie? Why is he putting first when his opponent is clearly further away from the hole? What is this asshole doing out here by the tree, reclining as if he hasn't a care in the world? He's on a golf course where balls fly around. Maybe don't relax like you're Alice about to read a book and doze into Wonderland. Also, who is this man? His hat says Fisher, his boots say Lazy Fisher, but his shirt and pants say I fell in a bush after church. Also, also, I know that this is supposed to be Bill Murray's Carl Spackler character from Caddyshack. There are a number of reasons why they didn't get Bill Murray for this commercial. Get off my back about this is supposed to be Bill Murray. I f know it's goddamn supposed to be Bill Murray. This is a sin for you, the audience. Why am I so mad? For the record, if you ever pop the cap off a beer and it causes a shockwave, don't trust the liquid inside to be in the consume category. Don't even consult a doctor about it. In fact, should this ever happen to you, just take the brew to a witch with a cauldron and they will thank you for the ingredient and give you a quest. Also, why is Serena happy that a gust of wind helped her win? Wouldn't she want to win without needing a glorified beer fart? This commercial decided it really needed Bill Barely Beard to squat over the hole as if to really lend the feeling that something interesting is happening. Let me tell you, the only interesting thing happening is Sammy Shortshave is nowhere to be seen at the moment preceding this, and as soon as the celebration pans out, he has somehow teleported back to the beer cart. Wait, this beer cart motherfucker parked the beer cart on the goddamn green! My beer! Peggy, have you lost your mind? Remember to also check out Cinema Sense, where we send movies, and TV Sense, where we send TV. Also, subscribe to Commercial Sense. Click the bell, like this video, slap your mama's ass. Oh, and check out CinemaSense.com, which has all our videos and easy genre categories and links to our store where you can buy our sweet, sweet merch that we guarantee you will love. Guaranteed void in Tennessee.